church was uh, uh, started on March 21st, 1921, uh, in a, a prayer meeting. And, and that is noteworthy because next year we will celebrate our 100th year anniversary. And I'm thankful that I'm a part of it. And Bethesda has always had strong ties to the community. Many have relocated in the last 20 years. Uh, they've moved to the, to the, to the suburbs, uh, but our roots are here, and we're very committed uh, to, to Ivy City. You know, Micah talks about uh, he had shown the old man that which is right, to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly. And, um, and so I think we have all those elements there. And if the black church um, goes into hibernation or, or just goes into extinction, then that voice will be lost, the voice, the voice of justice. Um, our community is rapidly going through gentrification and, and, and uh, those who are um, um, struggling to, to live and to you know, make their rent payments, mortgage payments, they're being forced out. The uh, land economics is forcing them out. The price of land is moving up. Developers are, are moving in. And so we have to be concerned with that, for, with, with that issue from a... What I think is noteworthy is that uh, children, some children who grew up in Bethesda, had opportunities to go to college and so forth, but they wanted to return to Bethesda Baptist Church. And I feel that that is noteworthy to the teaching uh, and the guidance that uh, the members, the pastor and the members, have given to the children. Historically, the church, even through slavery and uh, beyond slavery, reconstruction, and everything, the, the church has been the voice for the voiceless uh, in the community. And so, um, the traditional church is is shifting. It's not just you know African American, but but others. Uh, you know, people are finding technology now is pulling people away from the church with streaming and mm -hmm. and other ways. Uh, you know, people can have their own communities outside of church, but you know, the word says forsake not the assembling of yourselves together together as as some you know do and so we don't we, we believe that our doors should always well, what we have to do is find a way that our doors will always be open and, and meet the needs of the community and 